guys, I wanted to do a follow-up to the recent video I posted titled The Importance of Checking Your Oil. Now the reason I want to do this is I've had a few questions from people regarding uh, the oil I'm using and the filter I'm using and also a request for any photographs of the original oil filter which I cut open. I did keep the old filter the OEM Ford Motor Company filter and I cut it open and as you can see from this there is a lot of metal in it. Now this was 7,700 kilometers factory sump uh, with top up oil. I probably put like I said a litre and a half or maybe a little more 1.8 litres of top up oil um, in it during that period. Uh, and as you can see there's a lot of metal in it and the filter has, a good, has done a good job of catching all that metal. As a now, comparison, I have the uh, K&N filter which I put on at 7700 to 117 and as you can see this filter is actually quite clean. So this shows me that the engine isn't in a critical state where it's eating itself up. Uh, the running period uh, did, did, uh, did produce some metal shavings in the, in, in the engine but the, uh, after the original sump and the run-in, it looks like it's actually done a, the engine's performing quite well. And the oil consumption has dropped right off. It's not actually burning any oil or consuming any oil at all, uh, which is a great thing to know. I was a bit concerned that, that I'd be putting liters and liters and liters of oil in it, like some guys in the States do. But look, you need to expect these things do consume a bit of oil. They are a late model motor, and um, a lot of late, late model engines that use really thin synthetics, the oil, the oil does get around and it can get into the combustion chambers and it can burn off. Um, so uh, that, that, that's a good comparison from the original filter to the, uh, the second filter and that gave me a little bit of comfort. Um, and I, I wanted to do that check before actually modifying the car and that's what I did. I, I, I wanted to do that check before putting the headers and the tune on it because um, I sort of, you know, I thought to myself, I thought, I thought to myself I'm, I'm likely going to void my warranty um, by shooting the car, so I wanted to make sure the engine was alright. So I, I, can, I was pretty happy with that, so I moved forward to um, ordering parts and, uh, and installing the, the, the components that I, that I needed to. Um, second, second to that, um, the, the oil I'm using is Mobile One 5W30, and I'm using a Ryko oil filter from now on. Now, the reason I changed from the k &N back to the Ryko was um, nothing to do with the quality of the filter. The Canons are probably the best in the world. It's it's that the actual ease of getting it into the car. Now, if you've done an oil change on these yourself or you've seen uh, videos of them, there's a little, like a little gurney flap. that is a seven mil nut you've got to remove and this little flap pops down and gives you access to the oil filter. It's very tight and you're pretty much working blind. Now, the factory oil filters are very stubby. They're actually quite short. Um, the can is a lot longer. Uh, diameter is about the same, but it's a lot longer. So you haven't got much space there to get it in, you put it in the right or orientation and, and get a thread on it. It took us about 15 minutes to get the oil filter on with the can in And I thought to myself, you know what? Because I'm going to be doing the oil changes relatively frequently, every 5,000, 4, 5,000 Ks, um, a Ryko is going to be just fine. It's a good quality filter and it's a lot easier to get on and off. Straight in, straight on. It gives you about another 10 or 15 mil to play with, which is just what you need to get it on and screw it up to the uh, to the engine and, and get a thread on it. So um, that that's what I want to cover in this video. Uh, if you've got any additional questions, throw them in the comments. Like I said, I, I try to get to my comments. I, I read them all and I will respond if you've got any questions. And I, I may also respond with an additional video as well. So if there's anything you're interested in, uh, in asking, hopefully I can help you out and uh, post another video. Um, please, if you're interested, subscribe to the channel. Um, I've been getting some good uh, feedback from people. Um, stating that uh, it's good to have some local content and that was a major driver for me uh, pushing through and, and getting some videos up so if you like it subscribe um, and I, I look forward to the to the next uh, video look I also look forward to roll racing which is in about four days it looks like the weather's going to be holding up so that's great uh, like I said I'm going to try to get a video out on the, on the roll racing prep I'll see how I go um, but I'll certainly um, be um, 
be putting a video together of the, the Royal Racing Day and the event and uh, and it should be quite interesting to watch and just how competitive is one of these uh, E85 NA Tune 10R80 Mustangs at a roll racing event. So stay tuned guys. Thanks a lot for, uh, for subscribing and watching and um, if you like it, keep watching. Thank you very much. Take care.